Hey everyone, welcome back to another ServiceNow Go With The Flow. This episode is inspired by a community post that I saw recently asking how to take different approval paths depending on whether a user was in a specific group or not. And since there's no real action to say something like, is user X in group Y? <sighs> I thought it might be handy for us to run through that example really quick. So the tricky bit of this is not defining the path, but rather is the user in the group or not? And in this example, I'm just gonna see if the user Robert Fedoric is in the ServiceNow group. If so, we're gonna log out true. If not, we're gonna log out false. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go to our actions and we're gonna say look up records. And I wanna be really clear here that we're using the look up records, not the look up record. So look up records, and we are going to pick the table sys user gr member. It's really handy to understand the group membership table by its table name, it just makes it way easier to navigate to. If you wanna know a bunch of other tables that are easy to navigate that way, just check up in the corner, there's gonna be a video I made popping up there. So we're gonna do table equals sys user gr member. That is a table that stores a relationship between users and groups. It's called a many-to-many -many relationship. There's another video coming up in the corner that you may want to explore if you don't understand what many-to-many -many relationships are. So if I'm looking at the group membership table, all I have to do is count the number of times that Robert Fedoric appears in the ServiceNow team. And if that count is greater than zero, then I know Robert is in that team. So let's go to our conditions and we'll say user, and we'll pick a specific user, Robert Fedoric, and group is the specific group ServiceNow. Now I've picked literal values. You could just as easily say the user is the assigned to or the caller in case it's not a fixed value every time. Now that I've got the lookup group records, what I'm gonna do is make an if statement. Go to flow logic, if statement. Now we're always a good steward of our flow, so we're gonna put a nice condition label in here. If count of Robert in service now is greater than zero. We're gonna open up our data picker and we're gonna look into the lookup records node and you'll see that there's this count option. So I'm gonna drag that over here. So that's the count of all of the records that it found in the group membership table where the group is service now and the member is Robert. So all we have to do is say, if that is greater than zero, then we know for a fact that Robert is in that group. And so if that's the case, pick the log statement, I'm gonna log out true. We're gonna put a flow logic of else and we're gonna log out false. Now let's give it a test. Let's check out our lookup records. We see that it found one record. Here's the record. Let's just click on that to preview it. Yep, it's a group membership for Robert Fedoric in service now, so we know it's right. And we see that it is logged as true. So there you have it, folks. If you ever need to evaluate if a user is in a group for purposes of flow, and now you know how to do it. My name is Robert Fedoric. I am a freelance ServiceNow architect, recruiter, consigliere, and coach. I can help you get more out of your ServiceNow investment, help you find and vet talent to round out your teams, or help you on the path to becoming a better ServiceNow resource. Reach out to the email you see here.